So I have about an hour and a half to work on this project. I'm putting in a new strawberry bed and my dad just tilled this again. But we've been working on it for 30 minutes, so I have an hour what left. What I've done is I took the hoe and I kind of like did this motion all along the bed. So this is a little higher. Um, there are a few rocks because there used to be a building here. But anyway, um, so I took soil a little there to make like a hill kind of thing, but it's a small one. And then I planted 26 strawberries that I bought from Jill. She got them in bulk from another place. And then I started taking some from the old patch. Um, and I only got two so far. So I'm also gonna mulch this aisle where we walk heavily and then it will be about the same height as the strawberries then I'm gonna put a thin layer of mulch around the strawberries so it retains some water for them um, some of the strawberries have green leaves some of them look sad and I know you don't want to plant them too deep but if there's a lot of root showing. I put a little more dirt. Being said, I have strawberries from here to that white bucket. And if you can see behind that white bucket, my broccoli, which eventually I'll cover that with cardboard and stuff because those big carrot weeds grow over there. Um, but we're going to plant strawberries all the way to the broccoli. What I'm doing right now is grabbing some of our leaves that have been laying there that someone brought us. And I'm just going to put them under the mulch so it's double thick so we won't have to worry about many weeds this year. Um, something like that and then I'll put mulch on top. Then along this fence, we grow lots of carrot weeds. I don't know if you know what they are, but those are the leftovers. They grow about as tall as the fence or taller. And we do not want to spray over here because my pear trees are right here. And strawberries are right here. So we are putting cardboard and very thick mulch along the fence and the cows are on the other side so I don't know if we're going to mulch that it really just depends if we get to that okay so this is what I'm doing I put one two three four six buckets um then I did put mulch right there and it seemed to work how I wanted it so now I'm gonna put mulch on the rest of this and then get as far as I can today. If you watched my spring project video, you saw I tarped this to kill some weeds down. Um, there's where it stopped. I just pulled it back for now and I added some compost and planted my witch hazel bush there. Over there, I wanna plant my spice bush or I might do it on this side. I'm not sure yet, but I don't have time for much else. So I'm gonna clean up and get ready for work. Before I go to get ready for work, I work at a daycare if you don't know, but here's what my peach tree looks like. I mean pear tree. And then the other ones aren't looking that good, but they're not dead, so that's a good sign. And I've got two Orient and two Bartlett. The Bartlett are the smaller ones. Before I leave, I forgot to record the strawberries. I planted a whole row and we had 25 or 26 new strawberries we added that are called Honey Oi, I think. And then I got um, enough to make 42 total of old strawberries. 
so we have 42 total new and old in that first row and then tomorrow I'm going to try and make a second row and work on the old patch to make some of those weeds disappear. <laughs> some petunia flowers and I'm gonna bring this to the chickens real quick um I'm not really sure if you're supposed to prune zinnias but I did because they're getting really straight and these are more a hybrid that are supposed to be more bushier if that makes sense so I thought it would help them we'll see I don't have that many anyway but yeah in there so the sunset was beautiful this morning and it's real sunny today so I'm hoping that won't dry out the strawberries so much I am gonna try to water them later but let's look at my trees first this smaller one um, Oh, I know why the mulch is flat. I'm on mode over it. Hmm. And this one is like doing so good. Also look at my hand. You can't see it very well. But last night we had a revival service at our church and Rory, my little sister, was drawing on my hand. And then, I haven't watered this yet, but it's my witch hazel bush. But I'm gonna try and mulch this and put some daylilies next to there. And then I'm gonna, maybe, I'm gonna put everything far apart. But I do want stuff in between my witch hazel and my spice bush. Um, oh, then this tree over here. And it only has a tiny bit of green on the top. <clears throat> and then this is the shortest one, I think. But it has some green things that are coming out. <clears throat> so this is where I stopped. I didn't give you guys an up close yesterday. But we've got cardboard and wood chips along the fence. And then in the aisle part like right here we put i put all the leaves as far as they could go they probably went to here and then i just did mulch because we didn't have enough leaves which is fine um <clears throat> so i got about <clears throat> excuse me i forgot my allergy medicine got about halfway almost um, but I need to finish putting cardboard along the fence and then mulching. I want to mulch the path first because weeds in here won't grow as much if we do that. And we're not using cardboard here, so that's less important since, you know. But I'm still going to try and get that done this week. But if you can see the strawberries, I planted 42 that was 25 of <clears throat> the new ones. And then the rest are these ones I took from the old patch. <clears throat> <clears throat> Man. And as I think as long as um, the strawberries get new soil, 
they'll be fine. And the first year we want to pick the blooms off. But these blooms are already on there. I don't think they came overnight. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's the strawberries. And then over here, we have my cauliflower. Six cauliflower, lots of broccoli. But this needs weeded or mulched as well. Um, but I didn't put cans around all of them. I normally do. But anyway, I'm thinking about <clears throat> making a second row of strawberries. And I want them to be pretty far apart because they do grow. Um, they send runners off and spread pretty good. Um, <clears throat> pardon my talking, but my allergies are bothering me. Then over here, I call this the perennial bed. Um, Grandma has a row of rhubarb. The boys helped me put mulch around this. Um, I think I showed that in one of my project videos. But the boys also helped me for like 30 minutes with that mulch over there yesterday. <clears throat> so that's just a box we're using along the fence that blew away. Um, there's the carols. Um, anyway, so along this side of the perennial bed we have asparagus. So, if you watched one of the project videos, you also saw me cutting the leftovers from last year off. But I might pick that for Grandma. <clears throat> so, it looks like she might have mowed down some of the asparagus. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, um, this is where the shrubbies used to be. But as you can see, it's like the rest of the yard weeds have grown and so the strawberries have been here for like I feel like 10 years and like they're just growing amongst the grass or weeds um so I've been digging some of those up not gonna dig them all up but there aren't that many anyway like definitely not enough for this much space if we were gonna keep this but it's been so long they've taken all the nutrients out of here so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> after, <clears throat> sorry, after today, I, after I get the rest of the row, I think I'm going to do like, I might try and find 42 more. I don't know. And then, <clears throat> I don't know if we have that many, but that'll make a whole nother row. Or I could do 30 because that then I could space them out more. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, but anyway, after I get all the strawberries out of this old bed, um, I'm going to put plastic on it to kill all the weeds. Um, I forgot what that method is called. I have to ask Joe, but um, anyway, that'll kill all the weeds. And then I'm thinking in the fall... Um, or whenever I have time before the fall, I'm going to put manure on it because we need to add nutrients back into the soil. And then hopefully in the spring we can plant more asparagus. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do, but I'll double check with grandma. But anyway, this rhubarb is looking good. Grandma picked some rhubarb for the first time Friday. And you can see how much the manure helps because this um, dead purple nettle is like quadruple the size it normally is just from growing in that manure. So the manure helps and we just put it around barely on the leaves. Um, but yeah, it helps. And that's just from our old manure pile there. I think it's like goat, pig, maybe a little horse. And there's like straw, goat straw, manure bedding. Yeah, 
And someone did put onions in there, but Grandma doesn't want those in there, so I might take him out and feed him to the chickens or something, if I remember that. But this is a thick plastic I got a good deal on with a whole bunch of pots for the greenhouse. Um, it was like kind of used stuff, but some stuff was new. Um, that was new, and then some of the, a lot of the pots were new. Some were used. Um, the used cell trays were really hard to, like, use because they're stuck together from becoming brittle in the sun. Anyway, that's kind of an update this morning. It's probably like 7.30 now. Anyway, um, I will give you guys an update when I work on this later. And also today I'm opening the greenhouse from three to six. So I'll probably have like a few hours before that to work on the strawberry patch. We shall see. So what we did today was put a little patch of cardboard on the front of the garden area so that weeds don't grow next to where the plants are. Then we watered all the strawberries, um, added some cardboard and lots of wood chips on that walkway along the fence. Then I made two rows that I'm going to plant zinnias in in a minute. Well, probably after I close the greenhouse for the day. Then I have about five more rows of space. I don't know what I'm going to plant. And... Caleb helped lay some cardboard and Isaiah brought us like five loads of wood chips and he brought um, one of my big pallets of cardboard that my dad picked up from the spice store. So, so that's what that looks like. And now I'm going to go measure how much rope I need to make my trees have a barrier to make them grow straight. And then I have to go to the greenhouse in case customers come early. So one customer came at 3, but now it's like 3.15. And she just wanted the soap, so she left already. Um, so I decided to get my zinnias I saved from the garden last year, and I already did a seed test, like a germination test, and they came up because they were from two years ago, and they had a high rate of coming up. So I am going to plant them next to the strawberries while I wait for customers, that is. I just put one of these big sided double cardboard on each side of my witch hazel and I might put like a small box on the back and front but I soaked the wood chips a little bit so they would hold some moisture around the witch hazel and it's just cute. And then over here, I'm going to plant like three daylilies, um, but I might not get that done today. But we have cardboard to keep the weeds out so our witch hazel can grow. And we do have some more cardboard to put around these three daylilies. Then I think I'm going to put three more daylilies and then my other spice bush and then some more daylilies. So I have the whole side of the shed and then I'm actually considering in the future making some kind of cool path back here. But that's in the future because I already have a lot taken on right now. So far next to the strawberries, I have the strawberries, then four rows. Planted zinnias, but I ran out at the end. So grandma's gonna get me some of her seeds to put at the end. Then I'm gonna do some other cut flower flowers in these three rows. Then sunflowers, maybe two rows of sunflowers. I'm not sure about that one row. 
but I'm gonna make two row, two more. I have three that aren't planted yet. So I got two biggish pots of daylilies. The bigger one is coral, and then the smaller one is a dark red. So I'm going to put the coral there, the dark red there. Um, and I'm leaving lots of space because over the years they get thick and you have to separate them just every year because they get so thick. And anyway, we are just going slowly so we don't feel overwhelmed because we have all of the barn left to do. Um, but yeah, I kind of like the pace I'm going at. I've got that project over there that I've worked on at least two hours today and two hours yesterday um so yeah we're just going back and forth so we don't get bored and enjoying the process by taking it slow and not getting overwhelmed so we just finished this little section next to grandpa's shed um we it's like a fourth of the shed done we have the red daylily i ended up putting it on the end then we have the coral daylily then this is, kind of looks buried but it's my witch hazel then i move that so that the weeds stop growing there and then we'll work on that section next and then i'll move it there and so on but it's looking pretty good we got lots of cardboard no weeds will grow this year uh, but since these are perennials i am not gonna put cardboard here next year well i don't think because you know they'll shoot up more and then the cardboard would block them but this year it's fine because it's their first year if you know what i mean and a few of the trees i put a little more mulch around and then we planted um two rows of zinnias next to the strawberries then we have two rows in between without anything and then we have two rows on the end with sunflowers. So it's looking beautiful. So today I'm not really doing much work because I kind of need a break. But I did come over because someone showed up at the greenhouse and wanted to buy something. And I was going to tell you guys about the garden. So we have the mulch path slash the mulch barrier for those carrot weeds. Then we have a row of strawberries, a row of zinnias, another row of zinnias. Then we have these two rows that aren't planted. Then we have two rows of sunflowers. And I think instead of having the two rows there, I'm going to plant like tomatoes and peppers that I have left over from selling plants in the greenhouse in between them. If that makes sense, because they need a little more r room than, like, rows of flowers will. Um, anyway, that's just an update on that. It's also weird outside today. Um, it's like we've been needing rain, and so it, like, did a little rain. Um, but not more than a tenth of an inch, I don't think. Um... But, anyway, um, so the weather's, like, windy, but it's, like, the temperature's nice for just being outside, um, but I, the wind tires me out so much, and so I'm just not feeling motivated or anything, so I'm kind of going to take today and tomorrow to just work on other things, not greenhouse or plant wise but when i was waiting for the customer to pick out what she wanted i um think i decided so jill gave me that witch hazel and she also gave me a spice bush i think that's what it is um a spice bush does that say yeah spice bush I'm not really sure what that is, but that's going to go, I'm going to put two daylilies just like there, one, two, and then the spice bush, and then 
here. The next patch, I'm going to do two daylilies and then a service berry. I think that's what it's called. Well, this is my plan of right now. I'm going to put the two daylilies, then the service berry. Two daylilies, then the service berry. Because if I'm not wrong, the service berry is the same as a June berry. And my grandma used to have some of those, and as kids, we would, like, just snack on those. But I'm like, they were so good, like, would I only want two? So I'm thinking I might, like, just have to make a whole row of them. Which sounds a little crazy, but I'm thinking, I know I mentioned this in an earlier clip, but what if I made this into a berry area? I don't know. My idea is it's just taking over by weeds and trees. Well, like, weed trees. Why not just have a, a row of berries down the middle and mulch the sides? But there is, like, shrubs going growing, so it would be kind of hard. But that's an idea. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I'm actually going to go ask Grandma what a service berry is because she might know since she had June berries if they're the same but yeah I'm just kind of walking around since the weather's nice and I have to go to work in a few minutes but I just kind of needed a break day so um yeah Woodchip Ridge, Woodchip Ridge. Grab a handful of 